Hey guys, welcome back to episode six. This is the last video of the first part of our series. Don't worry, there's a second part to this series and it's full of just as many good adventures. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Thanks for tuning in. This is episode six where we head out and get some one-up boards straight up and then we head on to go try and walk a creek and Dan and the dogs do something to really annoy me. So stick around and yeah, jump onto our website, check out these new shirts that are made from the design of these tusks. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoy. So after shooting those pigs this afternoon, we come back to camp and had some dinner. Just give the kids a shower and they're off to bed and yeah, Dean's gone to sleep with them while I'm going through and charging everything that needed to be charged, which should have been done last night, but we we're lazy. So now we're just gonna hit the hay and we're gonna do one morning run in the morning and then that's it. She's all over Red Rover. Yeah, it's been a good trip. We woke up as the sun was coming up and decided to head down to the river. On our way, we spotted a good boar out to the left and then you hear Aaliyah spotted another boar out to the right. I jumped out after the boar that Gruber was chasing and Dan went off after the other boar with Carl. Here's that first ball Carl got for the morning. And yeah, wow, what a fiery pig. Not the biggest of pigs, but very, very angry. So, Nat got another boar as well, out the flat. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's only just starts about 6.30 in the morning. So hopefully we go get a few more. Good boy. Yeah, so here's our first boar for the morning that we've seen coming across the fence line and seen other pigs out in the flat and Dan has taken the bugger over and check it out. And yeah, Garuba got this good old boar. He's a bit old, he might even be eating that pandana snut. He's, um, yeah, a bit deteriorated on his way out. So yeah, Garuba got him one out. Hey, good boy. Hey, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, Gruber may have pretty much no nose. He does have nose on the ground, but he has no interest in finding off the ute. But yeah, if you have him on the ground and run him on, he's good. He'll find him. But one thing with him, he's bloody hard. 
so he's very safe. But have a look at this beautiful morning too. How'd you go? Really good. Just here to show that paw put on. He looked like a big boy. He looked bigger than this one. You're done well, hey mate. Oh, that's good that's good. They get the good boy, Leah. Yeah. Wow, well, hey. Oh, that's good. Off to a good start. Yeah. Uh, Gruber's one was Tusky. Yeah. Yeah. Older fella. Yep. Yeah. And I'm um, gonna give girl a yeah. turn. Get up. She's keen to go. Get up, girl. Yeah, get up. Yeah, get up. Oh, no. Carl and Girl jumped off near a creek but we were unable to pull anything up. As you can see the weeds are very high and painful. Well here's a palm and it must be what nearly 100 years old, it's huge. And it's just seeded and apparently when they, we got told that when they seed then they die. And this is that same palm that we droned a few years ago the pigs eating the husks out of and you can see all the seeds have been dropped off and the pigs have just cleaned them all up and we've been told by the head stockman and managers that they've been flying around and seeing the pigs eating all these seeds they've been hanging around it but yeah there's there's not a seed left on the ground because the pigs are all cleaned it up and you can see all the rubbings on the trees and it's bad because the pigs have eaten all the seeds now and unless they pull them out in a different spot but I'd say they fairly well chew them up the, this plant's gone and yeah got no other seedlings we continued on driving to a section of the creek that I want to get out with a rifle and walk So I'm just walking into that creek where Dan walked the other day with his three oh three and I seen that good ginger ball and so at the 44 so still early morning so see how we go. Dan and the dogs have just blown my f***ing cover. Thanks. Thanks. You can see why the pigs love it in here. It's constant shade and so much cooler than everywhere else. It's a beautiful spot. But yeah, big gators in here too. Sorry, the kids turned the volume down. 
go again. 100 meters. Right, I'll just crack the big fella. Yeah, I know you cracked a big fella because I heard the dogs bark and the gun trot and you scared the pigs that I was just about to shoot. But they weren't very big, but yeah, at least you got something, I guess. Standard. But yeah, I'd say I chased them out because I seen that when, when I first pulled up. I, pu I was pulled up on that side just for the wind and there was Sal nosing along and I could see it was a good little mob but I couldn't see what was in front of it. So they must have walked up here and just that opening right there, as you can probably see it, there's a the buggy. So I'd say I've spooked him and that mob out to Dan and the other small tail of the mob was still digging up in the sand that um, I was going to shoot and didn't get a chance. Anyway, it was good to see them nosing around. For me, this yeah. is the perfect bedding for them in the heat of the day. Plenty of shade cover, bit of mud hole and safe from the crocs. I keep forgetting to look at my face and how dirty it is on the screen. Oh, well. having a good time. Yeah, so what happened when you blew my cover? Um, Carl started barking and I looked over and there's a big bull in the sandy. Oh, so you didn't even have to walk a creek? No. Nah. It'd come to you? No, nah, I walked two metres towards the fence and pumped him. Gosh. Standard. Decent size croc, must be another two meter. -y. Walking out of that, yeah, walking out of that um, creek to into that little hole that I was just videoing in. Cheeky crocs. There's that plant again, seeding. Another tall, hundred year old one. As soon as they drop, I'd say the pigs are smashed. Yeah. They've ever been in this creek. Girl. So even though it's all sandy, the roos are smart. They know they can dig down and get water. And don't have to go to the big holes where crocs are. That's why there's so many of them. The crocs don't eat them, they eat the pigs. And cattle. So we just heard a gunshot. Either Dan's found that ball and Made sure he was definitely dead or he's found another one. Did you find him? Look at this hole too. Yeah, I know, lots of holes. The roos dig their holes to get water. See how there's water down there? There's another. There's a shot. Yep. I wonder if the pigs are under that, where that gunshot's coming from, is under that tree. Uh, what is it there? That had all the seeds on it that the pigs have been into. Living under one of them trees. Yeah, I was just filming that. Oh, they're all there. Come in and have a look. They Any decent? Yeah, one good one. So you never found that other boar? Nah, it stinks like he's in there. Yeah. But um, I reckon he run that way, eh, originally. I reckon he'd be just up there in the bank, to be honest. As we walked up to look at the pig that Dan had shot, there was another seer hanging around. Yay, Daddy. 
So I was actually right back where I just shot that pig from. And I seen this this boar here eating the nuts. So I dropped him. And then two more popped up, which are just over there. Dropped them. Um, yeah, it's a good spot. If you sit here and listen, you can every couple of minutes another bloody seed falls down. So yeah, it's just I you know, have food here for weeks. Right, yeah. So you can see all the rubbins and how the pig basically is a big pig camp here. And yeah, that's trees. Yeah, there's a couple of them. But yeah, look at all the pig poo here and all around all the seeds. There you go, with mumpers. And yeah, they've just had a water and come up here to eat the seeds. Yeah. Come show us, Leah. Give me, show us what they look like. Mum. Yep, and that's what the pigs are going mad over. And that's what the pigs eat. Yeah, so this is a good boar that I cracked. Nice little neck shot, head shot. Um, yeah, that's the seeds they're chasing. Yeah, he's, he's a nice pig. Yeah, only just come off the water. Mm. He's got good armour too, good pads and that, so, yeah. I love this 303 in this jungle yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah, it's, 303 is perfect for this sort of stuff. Yeah, walking around, especially open site in oh, this thick it. stuff. Yeah, but yeah, very enjoyable. smashing these old hundred year old trees that have fallen over once they've seeded and smashing the seeds that are here but yeah look at it it's just all eaten away and yeah catching look how much area is worked out from the pigs they'd be living here all day the water's about less than 100 meters away so they really don't have a reason to travel hence why I don't think we've been getting them on the swamps very often they're just living in the creeks with all this fresh forage and to eat and seeds and fruit and trees and sand frogs whereas the swamps are a lot more limited they're still out there in the country that doesn't have the um, creek systems but yeah just not as many as the creeks that's for sure and just had another look around for that first boar he shot but it, it's just too thick it could be two meters beside you and you wouldn't see it so yeah it's a shame but at least ran into other ones it was meant to be happened for a reason so what are we going to do now it's coming to the end of our trip and this is the last little spot we wanted to check are we, are we going to check anything on the way back to camp or well i'd like to get one more good ball with the dogs yeah, so what do you reckon? Dad, what do we do? Dad, oh. Dad, Go into the island? Daddy. Yeah, well, Dad, we've got them other swamps up here we could quickly swing by. Yeah, if and not, then, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of good spots we can check. We've probably got about 10 k's from the car. Hey, yeah. But after that, we've really got to get going because we're pushed for time. Yeah. Two no. day drive home is going to be painful. Yeah, it's, it's good being up here, but it's such a long trip home to North Queensland, I tell you. Mm. But it is good. It's been very enjoyable just sneaking around with the guns. Yeah. Oh. Especially in this dangerous country. It's oh, not dangerous country, but thick and a bit crocky. It's, yeah, it's just very pleasant sneaking around with the rifle. Yeah, and it's so cool in the creeks. You can sneak around all day. And it's good with the kids because you can go at the pace they want and we want instead of the dogs are gone, you got to get after them. But yeah, it's good doing both, being able to change it up. And hunting as a family, getting out and enjoying the outdoors together. Indeed. Yeah. Well, try one more.
One of the best things that Vertigan Power Sports has done for us with this buggy is um, the dual batteries. You can see we've got our fridge down here, which runs off the dual battery. And um, yeah, all that system runs our spotlight, our radio, our light bars, everything runs off the dual battery other than you start. And um, yeah, it's been great because we always got cold water and and you know, we're not always packs tucker for the kids and yeah, it's always keep it fresh, you know, keep it cool. And it's a fridge freezer too, not fridge just a freezer, cooler, yeah. so it actually, yeah, can freeze stuff if we yeah. want. Yeah, that's right. But yeah, it's been a very enjoyable day. What do you reckon, Don? Did you have fun, mate? Yeah. Look at your face, kid. Yeah, we need to have some <laughs> Righto. Uh, this is the biggest bowbird nest we've ever seen. If we spot them, we always check them out. Find it pretty interesting. Yeah, a big gold nugget would be nice. He's all over anything that's white, eh? Yeah, I think it's just so uh, the bowbirds see it. Mm, it attracts his girl. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything on the way back to camp. So we went back to camp, packed up, had a shower and made our way back towards the house to say our goodbyes. We spotted a good boar on the edge of the water and decided to walk the dogs in. Radio, so we're just heading out and we just spotted a massive ginger ball, what looks to be a massive ginger ball. We're just gonna sneak up to the swamp and see if we can grab him. Wind's perfect. We've just got Carl and Gruber on leads because I don't really, I haven't hunted this country, so I don't know what to expect. Yeah, not to mention a sow could jump up in front of us. Yeah. Unfortunately, we weren't quiet enough and he headed off the water's edge into the tree line. Stole a big, big ginger fella. Yeah, that's good. Hey buddy, that'll finish things off nicely now. We're heading home and just driving through a paddock we don't usually hunt because it's a bit dicey. But yeah, seen that big fella and we thought we'd better grab him. One last lucky ball. Groove it on well. He was actually onto it in front of Carl, which is good. So we're just using them to walk the dogs in. And this one's, you can put it on your ute and it clips into there and like that. And it's an any rattle one. So pretty handy. Multi use. And this is your lead, isn't it, Leah? Yeah. Her babes. Babes and bulls. Dog lead? Hey, for the dogs. Yeah, we hadn't even made it. 3k past camp back to the station to say goodbye. I'd say we'll see more, but I think it's going to be easier to use the gun. Around their feed times and their nap times in the heat. 
so yeah, it was average one big hunter day. Mm. But yeah, it's yeah, been it's good, really in, enjoyable trip. Full night sleep most nights. <laughs> but yeah, at least we're not burned out. But yeah, thanks for watching guys.